I saw a question the other day where someone was having trouble with their elevation benchmarks in their viewports. When they move their viewport up and down, the elevation benchmark here would change. Now it doesn't happen with my details because I draw my details slightly differently. So if I edit my design layer, I'll show you what I mean. So there's my detail. So if you have a look here, you'll see that I've got some quite large numbers. And the reason for that is I've actually set the elevation of my first floor and my basement level relative to zero down here. There's my zero point there. So that my elevation's at the correct or at the true elevation that I need for putting on my elevation benchmarks. So whenever I put an elevation benchmark here or on my steel detailing over here, then I get the true elevation. So if we go back to my detail, I'm going to edit my annotations. I'm going to add my elevation benchmark. So now if I add the elevation benchmark there, and I choose that this is the y-axis, there it is there, I get the correct elevation. There it is over here. It's the correct elevation. And if I move my viewport, I'm just going to nudge it up and down, you notice the number doesn't change. So it's reading the correct elevation from my design layer. This is fantastic. It means I can put my, my elevation benchmarks here in my details or on my design layer. If I drew my details at zero and then wanted to trick Vectorworks to put the correct elevation in, then the elevation benchmark will update depending on the option that I've used. There's a couple of options. Let's have a look at the options we've got. This one is using my user reference. If I choose control point, then I have to pick a control point somewhere. I have to set a control point. Find find zero wherever it is down here somewhere. That's my zero point. That gives me an elevation for that, that note. But that's a bit of a hassle because I need to set zero every time. It's a lot quicker for me to actually draw these on the design layer at the correct elevation. What that means is I can go to any of my details that I've drawn into the annotations, get my elevation benchmark, put a benchmark on there, and the contract will then know the exact height that I want that steel beam. If we want to put it here on the floor joist, it'll be exactly the right height. So that's a great way of making sure that you get your elevation benchmarks to do what you want without going through a lot of hoops.